anybody visiting you any stranger manipulating you coming in your dreams coming in your sleep using the faces of people saying let us go let us go i cut you away from them right now i cut you away from them right now i cut you away from them right now hear me let me pray for every parent here the spirit that says you will not reap from your children that with your own hands you will bury your children i stand by the god who called me and i declare the spirit of untimely death is caused from your children caused from your children you will not sit down thinking your child is in school then they will send you an evil report listen I'm not trying to play with your emotions. We are dealing with serious things here. Do you know, I remember a time, sometime in Joss, when they said, you know, children go to play around the river or so during Christmas. And one gentleman just went there and that was it. Just drowned in a river. I forbid that from your children. That will not allow favor reach you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now. Let me pray for you again. I'm praying for you. If there is any covenant that connects you to the grave using sicknesses using accidents using plane crashes using kidnaps I decree and declare be released now be released now thank you Jesus the Lord is giving me one instruction please stretch your hands towards me the Lord is saying I should speak over your hands your hand is a symbol of your productivity every good thing is received with the hands not the feet when I give you something you receive it with your hand no matter how heavy it is you will try even if someone assists you still with the hand I pray for you as God has instructed that you stretch it towards me if there is anything on your hand that is a cost to your blessings that does not allow paracatos que de paracatiba la tu siata crate que paratos cates prente que perreketos calta bracata ligata chabra caparite perretos cotos e preta da bacata paracatos calta bracata in the name of Jesus every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward God has for you I break that chain now I break a parakes kote balata. I break that chain now. Every blessing my God has released, may it enter your hand. 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 And that of your children. And that of your spouse. And that of your family members. In the name of Jesus I'm hearing in my spirit remove names from covens in the name of Jesus this one I'm going to pray for you I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven right now as you shout that name let fire burn everything right now one two three shout Jesus let it be burnt now let it be burnt now every ordinance every ill speaking every ordinance be broken be broken blotting out every handwriting be broken in the name of Jesus and Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of God, helped in ministry, helped in worship,
helped as a businessman helped as a parent some of you are in the uk and it is clear you are alone there is no supernatural assistance around your life you wake up early in the morning and you sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow welcome to your season of strange help in the name of jesus i say to you welcome to your season of strange help help by god help by god that you are an ordinary man but may you experience the help of god in the name of jesus christ in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus victorious name we pray let me speak over someone's life that these egyptians you see today in the name that is above all names i don't care what they are called financial mountains i call them egyptians shame and reproach i call them egyptians diseases that defy medical attention i call them egyptians and i come in the name of jesus the son of the living god that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever 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 in the name of jesus the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream in the name of jesus for someone you will have to pinch yourself and say am i dreaming what is this that is happening to me open door meeting and open door favor meeting favor grace upon grace help upon help in the name of jesus christ hallelujah one last prayer and then you are seated father the dimension of grace required for the next level of my spiritual adventure i open up my heart to receive someone pray someone pray possibilities are sponsored by grace i like you to pray and cry the empowerment the engracing that must rest upon your life tonight that defines the next prophetic season in ministry in destiny that defines the next prophetic season go ahead and pray go ahead and cry go ahead and pray yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger the manna came daily 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 yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger cry for a fresh outpouring cry for a fresh anointing a fresh empowerment that responds to the new season the new prophetic season you are stepping into in jesus mighty name we pray i'd like you to be seated but be very sensitive this is our final session together do not lose sight on what god is doing there is a mighty mighty manifestation of god's presence and god's power in this place whilst i give the charge that i'm giving tonight there are awakenings right from the fountains of your spirit for some of you you will be having visions your eyes will be open and you will be having supernatural angelic encounters visions prophetic dimensions will be opening you will be hearing sounds you never heard you will see things that you've never seen before it is what happens when his presence comes here's what i'm hearing in my spirit weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah weep not this is a prophetic word for someone you've had seasons of tears from january till now it's been for you disappointment after disappointment it looks like a door is about to open and then just when you come it closes the prophetic word for you is weep not weep not weep not the lion of the tribe of judah 
even the root of david is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll thereof and i speak that weep not in the name of jesus the grace that ends tears ends disappointments let it rest upon you tonight in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a word that i heard in one of the um conferences i don't know which whether it's us or uk and the picture that is coming with this word uh, the picture of the apostles when they were disciples and they said master we have toiled all night and the word is nevertheless nevertheless apostle have applied for the job again and again nevertheless you didn't apply with this anointing on you that is coming on you now i've done ministry before and it did not work but nevertheless i decree and declare the anointing that makes it nevertheless nevertheless in spite of the economic situation in spite of the fact that you've done it again and again resulting in failure go with this anointing and succeed go with this anointing and excel go with this anointing and defy standards in the name of jesus christ i hope you still believe in the power of prophecy the speakings of the spirit the lord is saying it will not delay in its manifestation it will not delay in its manifestation ah in the name of jesus it will not delay it will come speedily speedily faster than you planned for faster than you thought it will not delay in its manifestation by the spirit of grace i speak it over someone's destiny it will not delay in its manifestation in the name of jesus christ the lord is saying i should speak to someone it will come through the hands of strangers this is what i'm hearing it will not come through the hands of anyone you already know it will come through the hands of strangers i'm saying it to whoever has the faith to receive that it will come maybe your job maybe your helper maybe an opportunity for open doors but it will come through the hands of strangers for the bible says strangers will feed your flock i prophesy it upon you men you do not know will schedule seasons of favor by god to your life in the name of jesus i say it again it will not come through the hands of those you already know it will come through the hands of strangers in the name of jesus christ 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 the lord is asking me to avert the spirit of death if this is all we do tonight i still consider it a great meeting someone's destiny needs to experience revival in its entirety the spirit of death i don't know who i'm speaking to you see death traces men like a shadow the same way you move and then you see a shadow following you and there are many people who are right now in the valley of the shadow of death when you see a shadow it means the object is nearby the shadow of death anyone here appointed unto death that by the skimmings of hell you should not see the end of 2024 i stand by the voice of prophecy and in the name of jesus i decree and declare you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die you apparatus help them please you shall not die you shall not die in the name of jesus every covenant with the grave every covenant with hades every covenant with the spirit of death we abolish it once and for all in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are people who are alive 
but they are bound in chains when he said lazarus come forth the bible says in john 11 that lazarus came forth but the man was bound in grave clothes even though he was alive he was still wearing the garment of death the garment of death can come as the garment of failure everything that cannot give you the liberty to find expression as the living is called the garment of death it's one thing for the dead to come back to life but it's another thing for he who is alive to be loosed and to be let go jesus said to come back from the life from from death was not enough he said lose him lose him lose him can mean give him a job that gives him a decent life lose him can mean let opportunities be scheduled everything that makes that you enjoy the life of god to its fullest let me speak to someone as one sent by god i decree and declare every chain that has held you down held your finances down held your destiny down i speak to you you are loose now you are loose now you are loose now in the name of jesus christ i come tonight in the spirit of moses he said pharaoh thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go that they may go and serve me in the name of jesus every provision that must be made available in this season so that you will serve god effectively and efficiently in the name of jesus may that provision be made available for you made available for you made available for you for you and your children for you and your spouse for you and your church in the name of jesus Ezra chapter 6 verse 14 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 God wants to finish something he started in someone's life it says and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they build it and finished it let me speak over someone everything good that your hand has started in righteousness i decree and declare by the spirit of prophecy let the finisher's anointing rest on you let the finisher's anointing rest on you let the finisher's anointing rest on you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus Doors open, doors open, 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 that they go forward, open, bring them out. We unlock the doors by prophecy. We unlock the doors by prophecy. We unlock the doors. Pray. We unlock the doors. Please bring them out quickly. We unlock the doors by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Doors. Many of you will be surprised what is happening to you. I say it again. Doors by the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. Every door that has been shot over your destiny, shot over your life. A father, that door is open now. That door is open now. The door of advancement. A father, be open now. Be open now. Everything that is alive shows that it's alive by growing. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, the fourth church, I stand by the prophetic and measure a thousand cubits and I declare rise to a new level. Rise to a new level. Rise to a new level. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. The Bible says, and it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. The angels that herald the relevance of men, wherever they are, within Abuja and across this nation, I decree and declare that 
all those who have been apportioned to stand by the man of God financially and otherwise to see that the work progresses unhindered we compel them by the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus they appear in this season the Bible says and I will multiply them they will not be few that I will glorify them they will not be small I declare upon the church as a corporate people in the name of Jesus may the glory of God rest upon you may the glory of God rest upon you may the glory of God rest upon you the sound of mourning the sound of death may it not be heard among God's people in the name of Jesus he said remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold I do a new thing I prophesy unto you be prepared for the new be prepared for the new even as by the Spirit of God Daughters of evil I pray for someone in the name of Jesus Christ every arrow that flies by day the noisome pestilence please receive this hope in the name of Jesus Christ evil that is plotted against you it returns back to the devil back to the devil back to the devil hallelujah praise the Lord any family that has repetition of patterns of death every year or every two two years or every three three years somebody must die and for some it has even happened this year in the name of jesus the last one that happened is the last that happens in that family patterns of death broken right now listen fire is about to fall on some people now I want you to bring them out every destiny I don't know by what demonic means your glory was covered but in the name of Jesus by the power and the authority of Jesus as you shout the name there are ministries that will rise tonight there are visions that will rise tonight at the count of three shout Jesus please bring them out one two three open up that close destiny I open up that close destiny I open up my God please help them I open up that close destiny right now be open be open be open please help them be open Hallelujah. The anointing that makes your head shine so that your helpers and your lifters will see you. I decree and declare, may that grace rest on your head now. You may not see it, but your helpers will see it. It will cause your face to shine. In the name of Jesus. I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it i say it again it may not be for everybody but for someone who have prayed you have fasted in the name of jesus christ my god and your god i say it again doors be open now doors be open doors be open doors be open doors of ministry marital doors fruitfulness doors financial doors a father be open hallelujah I pray for you let me speak over your finances the kind of favor that you need in this season for your business for your ministry for the next dimension of your life by the mercy of the god of heaven let it be released to you now let it be released to you now hallelujah this thing is a grace when we say it, people think it's pride if a grace is on you 
it will speak. If it's not on you, you can ask it to speak and it will not speak. And it is not for one man. It is for the body of Christ. This thing, we also received it from others. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hear me. Everything that has tied you, that came from your physical paternity, limitations that came from your biological father, biological mother, or your physical territory, I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. I break you from it now. Help them, please. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. Let me prophesy recovery. You have lost money. You have lost friends. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You mishandled favorable opportunities and it slipped your hand. Is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short? The Bible says at the scent of water, I want to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, I have been commanded to bless. Therefore, I decree and declare everything that has left your life and is not by divine orchestration. Mani Kaparokotosia. I call it back now. Finances be restored. Relationships be restored. Spiritual fire be restored. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, where you have been stagnated, like Moses told the nation of Israel, go forward, go forward, go forward, make progress, accelerate, go forward. I prophesy, go forward, Elevation Church, the global expressions, go forward in America, go forward in Canada, go forward in Europe, go forward in Lagos, go forward in Abuja. By all godly means, make progress. In the name of Jesus, run through troops, leap over walls. In the name of Jesus, let there be an avalanche of testimonies. Let young people in this church do mighty things before the end of 2024. In the name of Jesus, accelerated testimonies, excelling in ministry, excelling in business, excelling in family, excelling in careers. I open the tulip gates of nations for you. Access the nations needed for your rising. Access the nations needed for your shining. Access systems and structures. We put them under pressure for your sake. Financial systems, economic systems, political systems. We put them under pressure for your sake. By all means, go forward. Go forward in righteousness. Go forward in grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare every foul spirit, every unclean spirit, it's time for you to leave. Let God's people go now. Bring them out very quickly. Wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go. I'm praying again. Every spirit tying down anyone here, any man, any woman, I'm saying it again, at the count of three, let the fire fall. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation, 
connected to bloodline you must let God's people go now are you ready one two three shout Jesus lift your destinies now lift your destinies out of their lives now I want to pray right now every family that has been locked kept in bondage I come in the name of Jesus Christ at the count of three I decree and declare as that if it's happening in the spirit in the name of Jesus that grace will rest upon you father I stretch my hands as you have revealed to me everyone whose life and destiny has been caged every family that has been caged right now at the count of three be released one two three I open that prison door now bring them out I open that prison door now by the authority of the spirit I open that prison door now I am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings, elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving God wholeheartedly. We warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey. And may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you. And may God bless you abundantly.